Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing yet another Body Mist Dupes for High End Perfumes video. This is now my third video of this little series that I started. You guys love these videos. Every time I post one of these, you're always in the comments asking me to do more. And even on my regular videos, I always get comments for me to do more of these types of videos. So I'm really excited to bring you guys another one today. These dupes today are phenomenal. I think you guys are going to really, really love these. A lot of these dupes come from the newer scents that they've put out from mostly Bath & Body Works, but I do have a couple from Victoria's Secret as well. I always tell you guys to write me in the comments of these videos your dupes so that I can include them in my future videos. And so a lot of these are actually your guys' discoveries, I guess, that you have made on your own and you've let me know and I will be putting up the comments of all those people for all the ones that I'm going to show here today. One thing about today's dupes is that some of these are not going to be like exact exact dupes for these perfumes. A lot of them are but some of them are very close. They may differ a little bit but overall they give off the exact same vibes as the original expensive perfume. So that's just a little disclaimer that I wanted to make because some of these are not like spot on but I'll let you guys know all of that as we go on. Also a lot of these dupes that are not like exact dupes will work really good if you guys pair these together because they just complement each other so well but yeah i'm super excited to get into this video so let's get started all right so the first dupe i have to show you guys is actually a dupe for a very loved perfume this is juicy couture gold couture this perfume basically got its fame because of jeremy fragrance he has hyped this fragrance up so much like he has said that this is like the number one most sexiest of all time fragrance for women and I mean coming from him he literally has like a billion perfumes so for him to say that you know maybe there's something there so that's why I bought it and I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of you guys might have bought it I really 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 love this this is like a really incredible sweet gourmand perfume it's not the most mature perfume out there but i do think it's very sexy it's caramel but it also has like this perfumey quality to me it smells a lot like viva la juicy but if you added a lot of caramel in viva la juicy like you just sweetened it up made it more creamy and edible that's basically what this smells like and i never thought that this perfume could be duped but one of you guys did dupe this perfume. I will put up your comment right here. So this dupe was made by Hannah Jeanette. She says, I love Gingham Heart of Gold. It reminds me of a more floral, lighter version of Juicy Couture Gold Couture. I think that they'll layer bomb together. So I have Gingham Heart of Gold right here. And at first I was skeptical because I hadn't actually smelled them side by side. So I went into my collection. I smelled this one. Oh, it smells so good. And then I smell this. Literally, they smell so similar. It's insane. Honestly, if it wasn't for your comment, I would have never put the two together. And what she said about this being just kind of like a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more floral version of this right here is basically exactly the same. To me, this basically smells like the body spray version of this. It's a little bit lighter. It's not as perfumey smelling. It does have like that body spray quality, but this one does actually smell like a perfume. It still has like that sweet, almost caramelly scent to it. This one has crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. I think that warm sandalwood is really helping this in smelling very rich, very perfume-like, and pretty much what's kind of making this smell a lot like this and then also that creamy vanilla bean kind of gives it kind of like that similar creamy caramel note that is in here even though these two may not have the exact same notes a lot of the notes in here mimic the notes that are in here so i really really do think that these are very like probably the closest i have ever come to a dupe for this one so thank you for your comment because even though i was skeptical at first after smelling these two together i think they smell so similar if not dupes they are very similar vibes if you're going out on a date night or whatever this is what you want to wear for that and these two will layer together so well they'll just bring out the best in each other but also great dupes if you guys do not want to spend the money on this and you want something that will give you similar vibes definitely check out gingham heart of gold so the next dupe i have is probably a dupe that 
most of you have probably heard of. I don't think this is anything new, but I want to share it just in case any of you have not heard of this dupe. But this is pretty much like a spot on dupe. These two scents are literally one in the same. So the perfume I'm duping is Libre. Libre. I know that you say it with like that accent, but clearly I don't have that. This is such a sexy. This perfume like, if you put this on, you will smell like you are rich. Like, you have a yacht that is docked outside of your house. Like, you just you just got it, you know? That's what this one smells like. This smells like you're a businesswoman working at a high-rise in New York for some fashion company. I don't know. It gives off that bossy, rich CEO vibe. I think it has lavender in it. It's so ultra sexy super feminine but it has like this little hint of like this cologne vibe at the same time the dupe that i'm sure all of you guys know what's coming right now but the dupe for this is fairy tale from bath and body works so this is a fairly new scent that they've put out the, these two are exact this one is like just ever so slightly a little bit like fruitier not as perfumey obviously because it's not a perfume but that's basically like the only difference the fragrance notes in here are pomegranate nectar fresh orange blossom vanilla bean and warm amber so they're a little bit different from the notes that this one has but somehow these two are quite literally dupes of each other like i think if you have this one on anybody that knows this perfume and knows what it smells like they will think you have the actual perfume on because they just smell that similar the original price of this is 1650 but we all know bath and body works always has sales you could literally buy this for like five bucks you can even buy this for free because bath and body works always sends out coupons you could get like a full-size body care item for literally free so you could literally smell like this perfume for literally nothing like you would have to pay nothing or maybe like five bucks whereas this one's gonna cost you like somewhere close to the hundreds that's an incredible dupe i had to mention it i know probably all of you guys already know but i had to mention it just in case anybody out there doesn't there's actually one more dupe for leap which is harvest moon gaze from victoria's secret i do not own it because i have this scent already in my collection i have the original perfume obviously and then now i have fairy tales so i did smell it and i was like the, yeah this smells exactly like leap so i didn't really feel the need to buy it but i wanted to at least let you guys know that that's another possible dupe if for whatever reason you can't find fairy tale i picked fairy tale over harvest moon case honestly because of the packaging of fairy tale i love this scent as well but because they're so similar if i could choose which one to get i would go for fairy tale because the packaging is just top all right the next dupe i'm so excited for this this is one that again i would have never thought of by myself so i totally give credit to the person that told me about this so this this dupe comes from Elia Hicks. I'm really bad at pronouncing names coming from somebody that literally has the hardest name ever to pronounce. She says, I think Pure Wonder smells kind of like Wonderlust by Michael Kors. Now, Wonderlust has been a perfume I have wanted to try for a very long time. I've smelled it so many times. I have a little uh, sample of it right here. I will put up right here what it actually looks like in full size. But Wonderlust is a really feminine sexy perfume it's kind of fruity it's kind of fresh at the same time but like in a really good way it's almost like a little woody i would say it almost kind of reminds me of this one not maybe scent wise but kind of like gives me the same vibes like very much rich type of vibe and the dupe for this is pure wonder from bath and body works this is again one of their newer scents and i think they smell so similar i remember the first time that i smelled this fragrance I knew that it smelled like something, but I just could not put it together what it smelled like. And when I read that comment and I kind of like smelled them together, I was like, yes, like these are so similar. The only difference is that maybe this one is like a tiny bit more, again, like has that fruity body spray quality to it. This is again, one of those dupes that they're not complete dupe dupe like literally duplicates of one another but they give off almost the exact same vibe layered together these would be great because it'll just kind of like amplify it basically because they smell that similar this is ice rose star jasmine and warm white amber i'm actually really interested to know if there is jasmine in wonderlust because i can definitely smell 
like a hint of jasmine so i wonder if that's what's making these kind of smell similar i'm actually gonna look up the notes right now all right so this one also has jasmine it has jasmine sandbag it also has like this little bit of like this citrusy tart opening which this one also has because of that iced rosé it gives off that kind of like tart bubbly almost like citrusy quality and i think the citrus in this kind of mimics the smell of the rosé that's in here the notes are different but they both kind of are the same at the same time if that makes any sense like that iced rosé kind of gives this kind of like that sour tart zesty opening whereas in this one this one actually has like bergamot in it so it actually has the zesty notes and then you have the star jasmine this one has jasmine sandback and then it kind of finishes off with that warm white amber which kind of makes it a little bit creamier and wonderlust has that sandalwood and like this cashmere smell in the base notes so literally the notes are very similar even though they are different they mimic one another so well so Thank you so much for letting me know about this dupe because I can confirm it is a dupe. So I'm really excited to show you guys the next dupe because I kind of talked crap about this scent in my um, Bath and Body Works haul video. I said that this was one that I wasn't really sure if I was going to keep or if I was going to return. I still have it in my collection. I'm still not too, too sure about it, but I'll let you guys know that this actually has really really good dupes behind it that i kind of discovered so this is golden sunflower from bath and body works now the dupes that i discovered for this perfume are actually really good dupes i discovered these on my own and then i also have a few that you guys also mentioned that could be possible dupes to this as well so i'm going to first show you guys the first one that i think could be a dupe and the first one is alien goddess just packaging wise they give off very similar vibes but even scent wise they give off very similar vibes golden sunflower is giving you that coconutty almost kind of like salty beachy vanilla smell and as we know alien goddess has coconut i believe there's coconut water in here which is not actual coconut but it definitely smells like coconut and then it has vanilla those are like kind of like the main standout notes in this and it's just like a very beachy, summery scent overall. And golden sunflower. The notes in here are actually sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. I do not smell those notes at all in here. I smell such a heavy coconut note in here. I don't know if it's just not stated, but I swear there's coconut in here. And it's giving you, again, that very beachy, coconutty, vanilla, sweet salty almost vibe as um alien goddess so if you're looking for a similar scent to alien goddess try out golden sunflower i also have another dupe that i think is very similar this is kkw um the gold heart this one i feel like is even more similar it's even more amped up very sunscreen smelling i feel like golden sunflower smells a lot like sunscreen as well i feel like golden sunflower is just such a bad name for this because it just doesn't smell like that it smells like such a beachy sunscreen scent these two i feel like are even more dupes like as much as this one is a dupe this one is not as close as these two are like i feel like these two are like one in the same but i also have another dupe that one of you guys told me about now this dupe i cannot confirm if they're the same because i have not smelled this perfume but i still wanted to let you guys know just in case you have this and you have this maybe you can confirm it for me or maybe you were looking to get this perfume and maybe now you're gonna just buy the body spray so this dupe comes from i hate you <laughs> that's the username and they said a another really good dupe for golden sunflower is sunday joya jo is that how you say jo joya i don't know by armani she says that they smell exactly the same so yeah i definitely think this is worth a shot if you like this sort of scent profile if you like the sunscreeny coconut beachy vanilla type scent golden sunflower falls very much into that category the next dupe is a dupe that i've i've duped this perfume before um, and there's so many dupes out there of this scent, but I can't believe I'm going to talk about it again. I say this in every single video, but I talk about Baccarat and Cloud by Ariana Grande in every single video, but we're talking about it again. So we have Fireside Flurries from Bath & Body Works, another new winter scent. So this smells very similar to Ariana Grande Cloud. It smells very similar to Baccarat Rouge. It's in that scent family, but this one has a little bit more to it because this also smells 
like REM from Ariana Grande. It almost smells more similar to REM than it does to Cloud. Now, REM smells similar to Cloud, but it has like that added lavender note it almost has like this masculine sort of scent to it it still has that like marshmallow creamy sweetness to it which i'm obsessed with but it also has like this scent profile that we are all very familiar with so i would say fireside flurries is basically like a really good mashup of rem and cloud but honestly if i could pick one it's more similar to rem because rem already smells like cloud so if i'm making any sense this one has toasted marshmallow pink lavender and cashmere woods which i think are very very similar notes to rem rem has just a little bit more going on it's a little bit more complex i mean it is a perfume so it has a little bit more notes but i think that overall they smell super, super similar. Like now smelling this, at first I was going to say that this is just a dupe of Cloud, but I'm actually changing my mind like literally right now in this video because as I'm smelling this more, it's reminding me more of REM than it is of Cloud. So I really, really love this. I actually got rid of my REM a while back because I just wasn't really using it in my collection, but I really like the scent. So I'm really glad that I have... A version of it i don't really need the perfume because this smells so similar to it so if you like rem from ariana grande you like the whole baccarat cloud type of scent then you will really like fireside flurries from bath and body works and i also have another little like honorable mention for the whole scent of cloud and baccarat another scent that kind of i think came out in the fall collection from bath and body works is ivory cashmere it smells a lot more toned down than the two scents like it's a very much lighter version like if say cloud or baccarat are way too much for you and you like the scent but you want something that's a little bit lighter a little bit softer try out ivory cashmere it's exactly what it sounds like it's a really really light airy type of scent that you just put on it's kind of like a skin scent so that's an honorable mention okay so now i have a dupe that i actually do not have the perfume or a body mist of and that's because i've smelled both of them and i do not like both of them because the perfume dupe of this body spray is one of my most hated perfumes so clearly i didn't buy the body spray of it but i know that they are dupes because i've smelled them both i was actually really excited when this body mist came out because the name of it sounded really good and then i went and smelled it and i realized it was an exact dupe of the perfume that i hated and that perfume is ysl mon paris how many times have i talked about this i think if you watch my channel you already know how much i dislike this perfume it's a very patchouli heavy perfume it almost leans a little grandma-ish in my opinion so that's why i've never liked it i've never picked it up it's in my most hated perfumes videos so clearly i do not like it but it has a very very similar dupe out there and that dupe is tea's candy noir from victoria's secret now they have made a perfume of this you can also buy the body spray which is a lot cheaper i think it's like 20 something dollars but again you can find it for a lot cheaper they do sales they have coupons all the time so that's why i'm mentioning it because i mean it's a lot cheaper than mon paris but there's not much more i can say other than they smell so similar tea's candy noir still has that really heavy patchouli note in it that mon paris also has it also has kind of like this almost like a rose scent so overall i do not like it i was really excited when it came out because i love the original teas and i i've loved most of their flank and coming from a name like candy noir i was expecting like something really sweet the dark packaging i was expecting a lot more basically than what it gave and ultimately i do not like this scent because it's very close to this perfume so i'm only mentioning it because i know a lot of you guys like mon paris so that's why i decided to include it in this video but it's just not a scent that i do like but they do smell very very similar so that's a really really good dupe if you're looking for mon paris on a budget next i have a dupe for warm vanilla sugar from bath and body works warm vanilla sugar i feel like it's kind of a deceiving name because you see the name and you're thinking very gourmand vanilla sweet sugar cookie you know warm vanilla sugar what you think that that would smell like but this is actually a very floral vanilla there's a lot more to it than just a gourmand i honestly wouldn't even categorize this as being a gourmand because it's such a 
perfumey scent it's still very much vanilla but it has like a little floral note added to it this has notes of intoxicating vanilla white orchid sparkling sugar fresh jasmine and creamy sandalwood so as you can tell there's a lot more complex notes in here than there would be in one of their typical like gourmand fragrances like let's say merry cookie where you see the fragrance notes and they're like cookie dough sugar vanilla like you know like super creamy actual like gourmand notes but this one you have a ton of florals in here and then you have creamy sandalwood so this overall gives a very perfumey vanilla floral vanilla vibe it's really really pretty very sexy very intoxicating and i have almost a spot on dupe of this and this perfume is actually a brand new perfume to me this is mac creme de nude i completely fell in love with this perfume i was hearing a lot of really good things about it that it was like a super sexy perfume and it has that vanilla note which men are super attracted to there's been a study vanilla is just like a top loved note from both men and women but mostly men for some reason i don't know why men find vanilla really attractive on women this basically smells almost identical to As I was saying, <laughs> this smells almost identical to warm vanilla sugar. Like this combo will be a match made in heaven because they pretty much smell the same. This actually has a note of suede, which is very prominent in here, but it's very bearable and really pretty, very sweetened out. And it just kind of gives us like a sexiness. It's not just like a suede perfume. It doesn't smell too like leathery, but you can definitely smell it. This almost smells like the inside of a really luxurious like leather bag or something like that but it's very very sweet and sexy nonetheless so i feel like that's the only difference like this one just smells a little bit more high end because of that added suede it has like this leather note and this one has a sandalwood in it so i feel like that would be kind of like this the closest note to what's in here to giving off that vibe but really they smell super super similar if you cannot find mac creme de nude for whatever reason then you have warm vanilla sugar warm vanilla sugar is a scent you could pretty much buy it's in their core line so you could always buy it all right the next dupe i have is for victoria's secret bombshell passion this is such a pretty scent now the dupes it's really weird because the dupes i'm about to give you guys of this are actually two perfumes that i'm i don't really love one of them i actually like i don't hate it but the other one i straight up hate i was included in my most hated perfumes video so the first dupe is angel nova the one in the pink bottle i have an actual like full-on review of this perfume i have since that video gotten rid of it because i just ended up not really loving it it was it was okay but it was just not in my usual scent profile and then the other dupe is for carolina herrera very good girl which was included in my most hated perfumes video i really do not like it there's something really polarizing to my nose about that perfume it has like this overly like almost like a nutty smell it's just too much it's really really screechy very loud just not good i do not like this perfume but bombshell passion really smells like both of those perfumes but without that added screechy note that is in very good girl like i don't smell that in here this one just smells very high end smells very sexy when i bought this i was actually like kind of not sure in the beginning but i asked my fiance and i was like what do you think of this perfume he's like i really like it it smells really really good i wasn't a hundred percent for it but i didn't hate it at the same time so when he told me he was like no i really like it like you should keep it I started smelling it more, I started wearing it, and it actually smells really, really good. It kind of lacks that screechy note, the polarizing note. This one's a lot more, I guess, crowd-pleasing. It's a little bit sweeter as well, and overall, I just like this one a lot more. But it gives off very similar vibes to those. I feel like it's a little bit closer to the scent of Angel Nova than it is Very Good Girl. But it's kind of like in the vibe of both. So if you're looking for a more affordable version of either of those two, bombshell passion is the way to go oh also this does not smell like the original bombshell at all it's a flanker of it but there's nothing in here that smells like the original bombshell just in case you guys don't like bombshell i really dislike bombshell i think it's a very cheap smelling scent i really i've never really liked it and this one actually smells like a high-end perfume it even has like this patchouli like note and as much as i don't like patchouli i do feel like 
when it's done right, it does kind of elevate a scent. If you have this one on, people will think you have a legitimate perfume and they're gonna ask you like, what perfume do you have on? Okay, the next dupe I have actually also comes from one of you guys. So this is a dupe for a perfume that I have actually duped in the past. This is La Vie Belle from Lancome. I do not own La Vie Belle. It's not one of my most favoritest perfumes in the world. I just feel like it's a very generic scent. I feel like there's so many perfumes out there that smell very similar to that scent. And now also a lot of body sprays that smell very similar to it. So I've just never felt the need to actually buy La Vie Belle, but I know it has such a strong following behind it. So I wanted to give you guys another dupe. And I actually included this body spray in my Victoria's Secret Body Mist haul that I recently did and i told you guys in that video that i knew that this body mist reminded me of something of a scent that i had in my collection or i smelled it before but i could not for the life of me pinpoint which perfume it reminded me of and then one of you guys pointed it out and i was like yeah that's exactly that so the dupe is violet lily from victoria's secret this is a new release and this smells almost identical to La Vie Belle. This is a body spray that smells like a legitimate perfume. It has that patchouli note in it, which very much elevates this. And it's not a really polarizing patchouli. The patchouli in it is very toned down. It's very sweet. And the person that mentioned this is Ragda B.A. I hope I'm saying your name right, but I'll put up the comment right here. She said, Violet Lily smells like an ambery version of La Vie Belle. And I would definitely agree. Like, that is super, super spot on. There's just... Like, it smells exactly the same, but you just added amber because I really smell the amber in here and there's not really an ambery scent to La Vie Belle. If you're trying to find a good dupe for La Vie Belle, try out Violet Lily from Victoria's Secret. Next up, I have a dupe for Bonfire Bash slash Sweet Whiskey. I feel like those two scents are like the exact same scent, just repackaged. So the dupe for Bonfire Bash and Sweet Whiskey, I feel like... I might have even talked about this in the past. I don't know if I have. I do have Bonfire Bash. I thought I brought it with me, but I guess I didn't. It's in my collection over there. I've hauled it before. But Bonfire Bash slash Sweet Whiskey smells very similar to By the Fireplace from Replica. It has that same sort of smoky, even the names of the two scents, like Bonfire Bash, By the Fireplace. It's the same vibe, like it gives you like that literal, like you're by a bonfire, by a fireplace. It's like that kind of smoky, really cozy, sweet type of scent. I think there's like some vanillas in it, but it has like that smoky, like it's very, very smoky. Bonfire Bash and Sweet Whiskey are a lot more toned down. By the Fireplace is a lot, lot stronger, maybe a little bit more polarizing. It's a scent that I personally do not love that much because I feel like on my skin it turns way too smoky and it kind of makes me smell like I literally smoked a cigarette or I just like came out of a fire or something. I don't know what it is about that scent, but it turns way too smoky on my skin. So I personally do not like it. I do like Bonfire Bash because it's a lot more toned down. So perhaps if that's something you don't love from by the fireplace, you think it's too much, or maybe you have the same problem as me and it turns way too smoky on you, then Bonfire Bash or Sweet Whiskey will give you kind of like that same vibe just without the super polarizing quality that the original has right, and the last one i have here is kind of like an honorable mention this is another one that i cannot confirm if they are dupes but there is so many people that are saying that they are so i just like to include it just in case you guys are interested in any of these scents they could be possible dupes even though i cannot confirm so many other people that have both of the scents have kind of confirmed that they are so this dupe is for cherry elixir from victoria's secret which i do not own i have smells but i didn't really like it it was way too cherry kind of had like this nutty vibe i didn't i just wasn't really vibing with it even though i do like cherry notes most of the time but a lot of people are saying that this is a very close dupe to lost cherry from tom ford which i do not own i have actually never smelled lost cherry but i wanted to mention it because i know it's a very hyped up fragrance from tom ford and i feel like it's it's kind of like an either you love it or you hate it type of scent. I feel like there's a lot of hate behind it. Some people say that it doesn't really last, that it's not strong enough, things like that. So, I mean, I wanted to just kind of mention it. But that's all I can really personally speak on it because I'm not too familiar with the scent 
to really tell you guys like yeah this is you know i can't do that but i did want to mention it in case you are interested in lost cherry a good possible dupe for it would be cherry elixir from victoria's secret so that is the end of this video i hope you guys like this third video in this series i want to keep these videos going because i know you guys love them and i think these videos are super interesting like just finding out all of these dupes is really fun for me so as per usual leave me your dupes in the comments so that i could feature them in my next body mist dupes video let me know which one of these are you most interested in i hope this video was helpful for you and hopefully you can save a buck or two with these dupes but that is it for me today please like or dislike this video please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn your post notifications on so you can be notified when i post next and i will see you guys in my next video bye